Not at City Hall. CBS 13's Laura Hayfley has it covered. She's live with the proposals on the table. Laura? Well, since the death of George Floyd, calls for police reform have swept the nation. Protesters taking to the streets in major cities all over the country, including here in Sacramento, which has used Cesar Chavez Park as kind of a home base for demanding change. Weeks of unwavering dedication to a movement with the goal of changing policing as we know it. You know, our city has been under a lot of stress and it has been very costly in many ways. Demonstrations pushing Sacramento City Council to hold a special meeting unveiling a slate of new police reform initiatives. One is to forevermore have independent review when it comes to officer-involved shootings. An inspector general would be authorized to investigate officer-involved shootings and use of force incidents. If it's third party and independent, I think it's a good idea, but I also think it has to be uh, in conjunction with being community-based. And police reform advocates like Ken Oliver are pushing for community involvement across the board. We've seen across this country that police aren't held accountable, even when there's special task force or special prosecutors involved. City Council also considering having community organizations respond to certain 911 one calls as opposed to requiring officer involvement. Mental health is the unaddressed issue of our time. A lot's being asked of the police to assume many different roles that they don't necessarily have the experience or the training to do and we see the level of brutality and violence because of that. The council will also take another look at recommendations that were issued by the Police Review Commission following the shooting death of Stefan Clark in 2018 like drug testing police officers after using deadly force. They're also considering supporting the state attorney general's office independently investigating officer involved shootings. New ideas inspired by the community to help make Sacramento safer. And community members are hoping at least some of these changes are adopted in the coming months.